Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another video. We're creating, 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 one day at a time, creating, one video at a time. Mikołaj Maria Davidowski here. Coming back with another video. A video about will. Will of God comes first. It's a very important realization. Very, very important realization. We have free will. We have free will. It is absolute. Our free will is absolute. Not even God can question our free will. And we are allowed to explore ourselves in absolutely any way that we choose. And God will love us. And God loves us regardless of which way we choose to explore ourselves within our physical domain. He loves us unconditionally, he loves us absolutely. And the first steps of the path of realization of your divinity is surrendering, <laughs> paradoxes, surrendering your free will for the will of God. And so, first it is the will of God, and then it is my will. And so by fully surrendering your will to the will of God, you become God. It's a very nice paradox. By completely letting go of control, you have you receive infinite control because you let go of the idea that you are separate from God and so you surrender yourself, you sort of sacrifice yourself to God. You surrender and sacrifice your will for the will of God and when you do that, magic happens because at that point you recognize that you are God. Because you unite yourself with God. Do you see that? And so, the will of God comes first. And the will of God is absolute. Absolute means absolutely unquestionable. Absolutely indivisible. It cannot be changed. It cannot be questioned. It cannot be anything else than what it is it is what it is because the will of god is absolute it creates this reality every single moment and its power is absolutely infinite and its control and domain over the material is absolutely infinite and i'm not talking about the material as you focus upon the material, I'm talking about the divine, as you focus upon the divine, because all that surrounds you can be perceived in two different ways. Either you look at it directly and you interact with a bottle of water, or you look at it and you interact with God itself, through it, through God. You concentrate up upon God and from God you are focused upon the divinity that surrounds you and from that space you interact with the divine that is all around you and that is that is within you and god has infinite power over that and so his will comes first first and foremost in all ways just like the prayer first you say glory to god then you say his will be done his kingdom they come you know holy father in heaven i don't know the prayer in english but i know it in different language but the prayer goes first you give them honors then you carry out his will and manifest his kingdom 
And then you ask for the things that you want. And once you carry out His will, of course, everything will be given to you because God knows all of your needs at all times and He creates the reality for you. And of course, if you listen to Him and allow yourself to be guided by Him, then of course, there cannot be a reality within which you will not be provided for from His infinite riches. Do you see that, my friend? And so, first you gotta surrender yourself to God. You gotta sacrifice yourself, your little will, let us call it, for the will of the Absolute, for the will of God, and then become God's will in action. Blessings be upon you, my friend. May God bless you, and I wish you an absolutely wonderful day. I hope to see you in the next one. Leave a like. Tell me, are you in contact with your higher self or with God? Leave a like, subscribe, because I have many more videos on the way. Bye.